My sociology professor keeps an alphabetic list of new slang terms he learns from students and I will never get over it. Honestly, teachers like this go so far and beyond. Like this is something that it's kind of upsetting when you see something like this and then acknowledge how little pay and how underfunded teachers are considering how much work they put in. But I think we all appreciate teachers like this. Special thank you to my YouTube members and patrons for supporting the channel and supporting my content. How's it going everybody and welcome back to another subreddit video. Today we are once again going to be returning to r slash wholesome memes. I've had a long, uh, a bit, a bit of a long patch of no wholesome memes on the channel I think. We've looked at some upsetting stuff recently <laughs> and uh, I think we all need a palette cleanser with some wholesome memes so that's what I'm going to look at today. Let's take a look shall we? For the very first time in my life, a tall person stood in front of me at a concert, looked back and asked can you still see? And then answered themselves with, of course you can't, I'm like six feet tall, and then moved. I wish so many blessings on their house. Yeah, tall people that make sure that people around them are still getting a good experience are like the height of concerts and gig people. If you are tall, make sure that you aren't spoiling other people's experience. If someone is shorter than you and can be in front of you and you both still be able to see, go do that. There's no reason that you, a tall person, should have shorter people behind you who then can't see the concert, right? Make the concert better for everyone. I knew a guy who sold weed in high school and college. One time he made pot brownies to sell. In the process he discovered a love for baking. Dude's a pastry chef now. Wears cute aprons. That's wholesome. Ah, dude's following his dream. Even through the, the avenues that he discovered his passion, dude is living his dream. That's- I like that. That's really wholesome. <laughs> What stopped you from committing suicide? Assassin's Creed. Sounds really stupid, but I had a plan and everything. Date picked out and in the process of writing a note. When my mum came home and gave me Assassin's Creed Black Flag. We were really struggling for money back then, so I was surprised. I sat down and played it all the way through with my sister, and I was so absorbed that I missed the date I had planned. When I realised, I was laughing with my sister about something in the game, and couldn't fathom why I had been thinking about it. I turned 18 a few years later, and my first tattoo was the Assassin's Creed symbol on my wrist for my birthday. People ask why and I say it's because it's my favourite game series. Only I really know why. Honestly, it doesn't sound stupid. This is something that got you through a hard patch in your life and that's not for other people to judge. And at the end of the day, video games are a great thing for things like that. Video games, whether they are a, just a distraction, distracting you from the darker times, whether they are a way to connect, you know, with characters and story, whether it's a way to escape into a world that you feel more at home with or whether it's a way to socialize and spend time with family members and friends you know video games are an incredible thing i have some really good friends that i never would have met if not for video games so like i don't think it sounds stupid at all that assassin's creed is something that saved your life really reasons to live q-tip in ear feel good to feed pet to step on crunchy leaf gotta finish tv show pasta out of spite mum would be sad new music to inspire others Funny pictures on the internet. It will get better. Trust. Trampoline is fun. To outlive enemies. I think the outlive enemies one, right, is a really strong motivator here. I mean, honestly, do you want to die before Prince Andrew? Do you want to die before King Charles, the person who appointed a nonce as counselor of state? Do you want to die before those people? Cause I don't, I want to outlive those people. Do you really want to die before a royal nonce? Whenever my parrot flips out and gets angry, I say, hey, in this soft comforting voice and then talk to him gently. He calms down within seconds. I just got frustrated enough at something that I went, ah, my parrot said, hey, all softly and sweetly like a dozen times over the next minute. It made me feel better instantly. My parrot is better at conflict de-escalation than most people. Animals do be like that, you know? I think a lot of people when they're angry will have their anger calmed better by an animal than a human. I know that I do. Cats and dogs and parrots and all sorts of animals are just really calming. <laughs> I was offered a random day off due to an overstaffing mistake and took it. I decided to have fun with the pets. I got all ready for work like I normally would and they did their usual job of trying to persuade me not to go and I made a dramatic show of letting them win. They've been on a happiness high for the past three hours. This is the most wholesome thing. I love that. Oh, one day I've got to do this. Me and Leo plan on getting dogs in the future. This is something that we genuinely want to do uh, when we've got our own place to live in and I would love to do this if I'm working and I go to work. 
I'd love, yeah, just to make the dogs happy like that. That would be great. <laughs> Although if I end up streaming and doing YouTube full time, probably not going to be leaving the house anyway. So <laughs> building inspector. Well, you say you've kept everything up to code, but I've been speaking to your four year old and he informed me the floor is actually lava, which I don't need to tell you is a pretty serious safety violation. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. I like that. <laughs> yeah, we we stand. We stand. <laughs> Met a woman in a bathroom line last night who told me she was a writer, and I said I was one too. And she was like, oh, we're that Spider-Man meme. And then we both immediately instinctively pointed fingers at each other, and I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> uh, if I was ever like, I don't know, in a queue and I was talking to someone and we were talking about what we do and they were Excuse me? <laughs> My phone doesn't even make that notification noise. What? <laughs> anyway, if I was in a line and we were talking about jobs and someone was like, hey, I'm a YouTuber, and I'd be like, oh, I'm a YouTuber too. I really hope that we do the Spider-Man meme thing. I really hope. <laughs> Fight for our baby's first word in r slash confessions. We recently had twins and my husband makes a point of saying dada to the babies in front of me. So I play along and say mama as if I'm fighting back. But I watch them overnight and when I'm alone with them, I also whisper dada to them because he's such a good dad and I want him to have the joy of being their first word. That, I've got no words for that. That's so cute. That's, <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> oh, that's the, that's the cutest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I love overhearing dog owners talking to their dogs. Example, I was petting this dog who seemed happy, but then suddenly growled at me, so I left. As I turned the corner, I could hear his owner saying to him reproachfully, You always do this, Oscar. You drive away all your friends. Once I was swimming, when a man walked by with his dog. The dog kept stopping and staring at me and the other swimmers. When the man got his dog walking again, I heard him tell the dog, They're not drowning. You don't have to save them. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, I love dogs. I love dogs so much. I really want a dog. I really, really want a dog. <laughs> One time, a customer in Starbucks asked me to help him text this girl he really liked so he could ask her out. He asked if I wanted to see a photo of her and I said yes, obviously, and he turned the phone around and the camera was facing me. Honestly, best work I've ever seen. So I saw this post a little while ago and uh, I decided to try this out. So <laughs> I was talking to Leo. I can't remember where we were. We were in a restaurant. We were on a date in a restaurant and <laughs> I was talking about there's this person online I found that I think is really attractive and I wanted to get his opinion on them. You know, I just wanted to see what he, he thought of them. They were an attractive person I had found. So I gave him my phone and it was just a picture of him. <laughs> and I think that's the highlight of our dating life. <laughs> it was a good time. His reaction made it, made it worth it. It was great. <laughs> Overheard in a coffee shop, Long conversation between two men about attempts to get more muscular. Both were tall and skinny. And one guy said to the other, I just want to be that guy, you know? Like my friend needs his fridge moved and somebody is like, oh man, you're going to have to call a moving company. And then my friend is like, nah, man, I got my buddy Alex, you know? What an absolutely adorable reason to want to be strong. Live your dreams, skinny man. Your body is thin, but your heart is swole. <laughs> your body is thin, but your heart is swole is probably my favorite phrase that has ever come out of a wholesome memes video. I just love that so much. Your body is thin, but your heart is swole. <laughs> Garfield is a cat and doesn't have a job. The only ostensible difference between Monday and any other day is that John suddenly isn't around after having been home all weekend. Garfield doesn't hate Mondays, he loves John and is too proud to say it. This is an enlightening view on Garfield, honestly. It's not something that you would ever really have thought about. I know I definitely wouldn't have. I mean, I always kind of had the like, but like what reason does Garfield have to hate Mondays? You know, he doesn't work a job. He, he doesn't have to go to a job on Mondays, but yeah, John is gone. John has to work a job on Mondays and now Garfield doesn't have John around for the day after being with him all weekend. Yeah. <laughs> and the final post. A bottle of water can be 50 cents at the supermarket, $2 at the gym, $3 at the movies, and $6 on a plane. Same water, only thing that changed its value was the place. So next time you feel your worth is nothing, maybe you're at the wrong place. And I think that's a great place to end it, everybody. I really do. If you're struggling with your self-worth,
worth. It's not that your worth is wrong. Maybe it's just that you're not in the right place with yourself. You're just not in a good place. That doesn't mean that your worth is any less. And that's where I'm going to end the video. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed. Bit of a wholesome one today because I just wanted to, I just wanted to do a wholesome memes video, you know? Thank you for watching everybody. I hope you have enjoyed. If you want to support me in making more content like this, then I have a Patreon in the description down below. But equally, you can click the join button to join the channel to support me. It helps a lot more than you might realize, but by no means should you feel like you have to. I'm going to keep making content regardless. Oh boy, I am streaming every Thursday at 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. UK time. So definitely go check out my Twitch. Link is in the description too. Go check that out. Give me a follow so you don't miss my streams. I really want to keep streaming and I really want to eventually go streaming full time. So having my viewers from my YouTube channel watching my streams will make that something that is available to me so that one day I can do that more often. Right now I work a job, so once a week we'll have to do, but eventually I would love to be streaming full time. So definitely go check out my Twitch. Special thank you to all of my YouTube members and patrons who do already support the channel. All of your names are on screen now. You guys mean so much to me. You help so much. Honestly, just thank you so much to everybody that supports me. It's insane. Like, yeah, it's insane. So thank you. And that's where I'm going to end the video. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.